What's happening, my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris. And in honor of the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, streaming now on Prime Video, we're gonna build ourselves a light up bust of the Balrog. For the longest time, I've been a massive fan of the Balrog. From Tolkien's mind, from the previous iterations that have come before the Rings of Power, I have always favored the Balrog in this entire universe that Tolkien created. And to see him in the Rings of Power was just, it just tugged at my nostalgic heartstrings. So we're gonna build a light up bust of him because Balrog. Even saying the name is fun. Balrog. So yes, I've partnered up with Prime Video and I can't thank them enough for considering me for this project. It's been a lot of fun. Not a lot of steps required, pretty straightforward. Now the bust itself, the components were resin printed and it took a bit of fiddling to get everything right, but it was a good learning curve for me in terms of getting the scale of everything. Did take a couple of prints. I did start small and then ended up trying to max out as best as I can the overall size of the Balrog bus because the original file was huge, but I figured let's just go a little bit smaller. I was also going to be utilizing some UV glow paints for the inside of his mouth, his nose and his eyes. Tried it and it just didn't work out, but instead we're going to be doing something a lot more practical and that has a much more better effect. In terms of that glowing inside that the Balrog is famous for, we're just gonna be utilizing an LED torch. So essentially, it's just like a lamp. Now that all the pieces have been printed, I have coated them in a flat gray primer. So with that being said, let's get to it. Ooh, it's time for some Balrog base commentary. So I'm just gonna grab myself a flat black spray paint and this is essentially gonna help with the overall paint job and give it a good bit of time to dry. And whilst it's drying, we're getting to work on the base. I'm just gonna grab some black shoe polish, undiluted and covering the entire piece. We're not gonna be dabbing away the excess. I know you see that paper towel there, but trust me, it's just staying there just to wipe off any extra overhangs and stuff like that. Um, and then gonna grab a matte black and a matte white acrylic. Mix them together just so it's an off gray. And this is gonna act as a bit more detail on the base, going in and dry brushing and bringing back the details on that beautiful resin print, just to help with, with the stone uh, appearance and aesthetic of the base. And we're gonna get to detailing that a lot later. Now we're gonna do some dry brushing on the Balrog now that the uh, flat black spray paint is dried. Again, using those two acrylic paints, the white and the black, just to an off black. We're using much more of a gray with the base, but this is a bit more of a heavier gray once it dries, just to bring back that detail like the base, but this time on the Balrog, especially on the scales. Like the, the detail in this print is ridiculous. The, the file is an amazing file and a beautiful creation, and I really wanna accentuate those details. Even what I'm doing there is gonna be cut covered by the flames on his back, I still want them present there. And it's also good practice because you do have to build it up in layers, let a certain bit dry and then get a bit more on your brush, you know, sparingly and dry brushing it on until you reach that happy medium. And overall, I was very pleasantly impressed with how that turned out. Now I'm just gonna grab some blue tack and mask off around the mouth because we're gonna spray inside the mouth. We're gonna be spritzing an orange spray paint, not entirely covering the whole inside of the mouth. I essentially want that matte black bleeding through because that helps with shading. So we're just gonna spritz it on and mist it on like so. And seriously, that's it. And vice versa for the tongue as well, the tongue that slots in place. When I removed it all, it's a good little starting base because you want something that's gonna complement the light, the LED light and kind of reflect off. So I'm just gonna grab some cheap and nasty super glue and glue that tongue in place. And that's pretty straightforward. But next up, I'm gonna grab myself a yellow student acrylic. And this is highlighting certain areas in the mouth. Again, I need this color scheme to complement the LED light and have the LED light kind of bounce off the inside of the mouth and help glow, help illuminate the inside of the mouth. And again, just grabbing myself a nice uh, acrylic white for the base coat of the teeth. And I'm also gonna be just utilizing undiluted brown and black shoe polish just to really stain and dirty up those teeth. Certain iterations of the Balrog, you know, the teeth are a lot more of a darker color, almost black, but I just wanted these teeth to really stand out like um, almost tusks in a way. Now I am dabbing away the excess, but when it came time for doing like the roots and the bases of the teeth, I didn't really uh, wipe away or, or get rid of any excess black shoe polish there just to really stain them up. And I am grabbing an orange acrylic now, sort of watered down, just to help uh, 
with the glowing effect on the nose and the eyes, even though full well, I gutted out those eyes with a file. Now I'm just grabbing that matte black again for the flame and then spritzing on that same orange again. Again, not covering everything. I want that black bleeding through like the inside of his mouth, but then grabbing that student yellow acrylic again and dry brushing that on the entire flame and really having it prevalent at the bottom. And then as it tapers up, it's more orange. And that is just a nice way to, to paint flames pretty much. Now grabbing some more um, orange acrylic there, doing it all the cracks and crevices around his back just to help kind of give that molten rock look that he has and following it up with a bit more dry brushing with a yellow and also on the back. It just helps with the glow effect. Ideally, I would love to have had that printed in say like a, 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 a translucent orange resin or red resin, but this will do for now. I was very happy with how it turned out. Now again, I did say I ended up gutting the, the throat, the nose, and the eyes just with a file kit, my little hobby file kit, because it was a last minute change. Originally, I was gonna be doing UV um, paints, but it just didn't work out and it looked a little bit cheesy. Now, the cool thing is this little circle just pops straight out of the base. So I've, I've made a hole that goes all the way into the inside of the Balrog that starts at the base. So when he's all glued together, it's all gonna be like one big lamp, essentially. And this is just an LED torch with a translucent orange spray that I had laying around sprayed and misted on top of the actual torch head. And just getting some um, hot glue and popping it in place. Now you want to glue it in place to make sure that you can uh, unscrew the battery area to change batteries if your batteries do run out over time. But look at that, like right off the bat straight away, it already looks a million bucks better. Now I'm just gonna grab that same hot glue gun and glue down his back flame permanently. And the piece de resistance is the base. We're gonna grab some Dulux Duramax granite effects, spray it in a cup, but also utilizing the can and just some hobby grass that I had laying around. Now it is a mixture of spritzing on the Duramax granite effect and stippling it on with a chip brush, but also the one, the excess that we sprayed in the cup is really gonna help cake up certain areas and just make it look a lot more weathered. And when you combine the hobby grass and the granite effect spray paint together, it forms an adhesive and it also makes the grass look a lot more dirtier, damper, and not as pristine with some model grasses. Like I want a bit of darkness to it and the pigments in the granite effect definitely help that and they just complement each other. And now all that's left to do is hot glue around uh, the, that area of the base there and slot the Balrog in place and he's good to go. We're ready for the final reveal of the Balrog. And also just a little bit of tidy up with a red artist oil just to emulate scar tissue. And there we have it, geeks and geekettes. The Balrog bust is done and dusted with a neat little light up feature. Very happy with how this turned out. It's simple, it's easy, it's practical, and it's a great little display piece. Again, I've always loved the aesthetic of the Balrog, the character of the Balrog, and to see him in the Rings of Power, Gorgeous. So again, a massive thank you to Prime Video for considering me for this project. It's been a lot of fun and I hope you guys got something out of it. So with that being said, wherever you are in the world, please have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. I hope you will. Hope you're happy. Be merry, be silly. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.